Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Sharina J. Alright y'all, let's hop right into it. So this week, we're discussing dupes. We're discussing what everybody wants to know. How long does it last? Does it last as long as the original perfume? Does it smell as good? And is it, you know, how much money is it saving me? <laughs> because that's what we get dupes for. We get dupes so that we don't have to drop big old bags on the perfumes that we really love and enjoy. So I have three different houses of dupes. Uh, we have two from Be Layered. I have two from Alt. And then I also have two from Okja. Now I have more from Okja, but these are just the two, these are the ones that I have the originals for. So what we're going to be talking about is Soleil Blanc by Tom Ford, Delina by Parfums de Mali, Coco Chanel Mademoiselle, MFK uh, Gentle, flu uh, Gentle Fluidity Gold. <laughs> and Tom Ford Lost Cherry. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Now what I did, you guys, is earlier today, I went ahead and I labeled all these inside. I folded these up because I'm gonna do a blind scent test to see if I can tell the difference between what they are. Um, I'm also going to see, you know, which one smells the best to me, and then we can go from there. But I have my little satchel here so I'm going to mix them all in the bag so I don't know which is what. And on the inside of the paper, it tells me exactly which one is which. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, what we will do is start with what's on my paper <laughs> first. So that way we don't get lost in the sauce. So the first one up is... Let's move all these over here. So what are we talking about? The first one we're talking about is Tom Ford Lost Cherry. So... My Lost Cherry sample I got from Scent Split. It wasn't a whole big old sample because I got so many mixed reviews on it. I didn't know if I wanted to buy a bigger sample. And this little teeny sample here cost me $14. <laughs> I think it's gone down in price since I bought it. But I bought it and it smelled good to me. Like I dabbed it on, wore it for the day, let it sit. And it was actually pretty dope. So I really liked it. So I was like, you know what? I like this. Let me buy one of these dupes to see because the time for lost share and honestly when i went to go buy it was almost 400 dollars and i was like i don't got 400 dollars to drop one perfume <laughs> so i bought this b layered version now listen y'all my juice is pretty much gone so y'all know how much i like this this was everything to me in the winter so since this was almost gone i was like let me get another bottle i went on b layered's website and now they have gone up because when I first got this, I think it was $39.99. But now they have gone up now that everybody knows them and loves them. And this same bottle was about $80. And I was like, oh, there's other people out there making dupes be layered. Calm down. <laughs> so I went on to Okja and they have one called Sinful, which is also a version of Tom Ford Lost Cherry. So we actually have two dupes for Lost Cherry. So we're going to check them all out. These are my Lost Cherry dupes i sprayed the back in the little circle for all of them now i'm going to throw them all in this bag so i don't know what's what and shake the bag up and then we'll see what we get so while i'm shaking this up and mixing them all up let's talk about lost cherry a little bit this is a amber floral fragrance it came out in 2018 by the house of tom ford clearly <laughs> the top notes are and they'll be on the side too uh sour cherry bitter almond and liqueur for the top notes the middle note comes back again with sour cherry it has plum turkish rose and jasmine sambac and then the base is where it gets real mm. it has tonka bean vanilla peru balsam cinnamon benzoin sandalwood cloves cedar patchouli and vetiver so those are the notes so let's see which one are we gonna like better? So I'm just gonna reach in and pull one out and let's smell it. And I just like a new 
trick, y'all. So I was like, should I get coffee to reset my olfactory for smelling in between all of this? Because it's five different perfumes and like two or three versions of each. So I don't want to go nose blind. And I was told that if you just sniff an unscented part of your skin, then that will actually reset your olfactories better than coffee. Because first of all, who always got coffee with them when they're going out? <laughs> And yes, if you're going to a perfume county, it's Saks or Dillard's or something like that, they may have it. But if you're going to TJ Maxx, huh, <laughs> then you may not get no coffee there. But you know, they got coffee on the shelf too, so fun fact. <laughs> but anyway, back to it. So this is the very first one. I don't know which one this is. I'm just going to smell it. This one actually has lost some of the scent. <laughs> Okay. I mean, I smell it, but this is faint. So let's go on to the next one. This is the first one. I'm going to put this here. As a matter of fact, I'll put it back here so you guys can see. This is the very first one that I smelled. Let's go to the next one. Mm, this one's a little bit stronger than this one, but they smell exactly the same. There's no one better than the other or anything like that. So there's that. And then we got the last one. Now this one, I feel like has the most oil in it because it left the most stain on the paper because the other two aren't as stained as that one was. So whatever this is, got a lot of oils in it because it definitely stained this paper. But it's no stronger. I don't need more oil. Oh wait, actually it is a little stronger. This one is a little bit stronger. All right, so of these three, which one do I prefer? They all smell exactly the same. I can't tell the difference, is my right? Let me sniff me. Let me go back and sniff again. Yeah. And I left this arm unlotioned, unscented, on everything so I could have bare skin. Mm -hmm. This one right now is giving the strongest vibes. This one is actually the weakest. So let's open them up. I will go with this one is my favorite. So let's see which one this is. This one is the Ultra version. This one is giving strong, giving long lasting. I sprayed these today probably about I guess, six hours ago. So she got longevity, y'all. Uh, the weakest one. Let's go ahead and see which one that was. The weakest one I wrote R for real and D for dupe, y'all, on some of these. So the weakest one is actually the real one. Okay, time for it. I'm gonna need you to come through with more lasting power on my $400 fragrance. Thanks. And then, of course, this would be just the um, the be layered one. So it looks like Ultra for the win, y'all. Is the longest lasting of them, but these two are both both longer lasting than the original. But I'll tell you this: I've worn the hell out of this. I've gotten so many compliments on this. She is beautiful, and the the thing I love about this bottle is the the spray. Like I love that. The spray on the Ocha is something to be desired. Y'all need to fix that. Um, it sprays a little bit. Yeah, it. I don't, I don't like my spray to be. T -t -t -t. <laughs> I like it to be a smooth, even automizer. So, but yes, even spraying that in the air, the. This one gives more punch and bang for your buck. And this was the cheapest. So I'll put it on the screen how much it is. But in all honesty, I believe I got this one for $39.99. So I love that for us because we can save a coin. And this one, I believe, is $79.99. But us, or $69.99, I'll check it out. And again, I'll put it on the screen. So, But on to the next one. Okay, next up, we're going to do Jittle Fluidity Gold. G-F-G. And this one is by the same house that makes, um, let me put this down because this is not the one. <laughs> this is the one that is by the same house that makes Baccarat Rouge 540. Um, so it's Maison Francis Kirkstrom. This gentle fluidity cold is everything. I mentioned it in my previous perfume haul for different beautiful fragrances at three different price points. And I will go ahead and put this up here so you guys can go back and watch that. But yeah. So, I sprayed these earlier. Let me find them. And I have them sitting separate so they don't get on each other, y'all. Okay. So, these are my two GFG fragrances. So, we're going to go ahead and put these in the bag and shake it up. While we're doing that, we can go over the notes. So, GFG doesn't tell you the top, middle, and base. So, they just tell you what the notes are. 
This is an amber vanilla. It came out in 2019. The notes are amber, vanilla, <laughs> musk, woodsy notes, juniper berry, nutmeg, and coriander. All right, y'all. So let's go ahead and look into it. And I'm just going to pull out the first one and give it a sniff. Mm, mm, mm. I love this so much. Mm, and it's still strong, still going powerfully. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. That one's good. Let me smell my arm. <sighs> All right. This one is similar. So I'm going to assume that this one is the dupe because it's giving this vibe when this is everything. Mm, mm, mm. But, and they both have the same amount of like oil sprayed almost. So I don't know which one it is, but I'm assuming that this one is the dupe. I mean, this one is the real one because it's stronger. This one is starting to die down already. So this is my favorite one. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up and we will see. Y'all, <laughs> this is the dupe. That's a D. This is the dupe, y'all. Oh my God. This bottle cost me, I think, $29.99. This was way less. And this uh, Gentle Fluidity Gold, the normal version, is, I think, at the lowest, maybe $2.19. This is what the lowest you can get it for. Baby. This one lasts way longer, and I preferred this to this. This this has started to die down already. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh, my God. They still smell similar. They don't smell exactly the same. I will say that. This one actually, to me, smells better. It's more complex, and that's crazy because this is a niche house that's costing me 2 to 5 or $600 per bottle. This is $39.99. So, yeah, this is the real one, just so y'all can see the R. But yeah, that's crazy to me. So, alt for the win, y'all. Alt for the win. This thing come through. And I don't have a big, big bottle. I just have the um, the sample that I got from a, a Discovery set. So, take that with a grain of salt. Some people say that the samples smell different than the bigger bottles. Some people prefer their smaller travel size bottles over the bigger bottle. And some people attribute that to the amount of oils that are in each bottle. So, but right now, just based on the Discovery Set version and the Alt version, I'm going to go with the Alt version. All right, y'all. Next up on the list is Coco Chanel, Mademoiselle. Coco Chanel. Now, this isn't a very expensive bottle. I think this bottle cost me $90. So, it's not horribly expensive to begin with. Um, and I believe you can get the bigger bottle for like $140. So, it's not niche it's a um designer house so it doesn't have niche prices so i mean this is still in a more affordable price range than a niche fragrance but uh, yeah this one was 90 dollars, and it is one how many fluid ounces so i can just tell y'all because i got a, it's 1.2 fluid ounces this one doesn't have the ounces on it but clearly we can see <laughs> that this one is this one's mama <laughs> so you get way more for your money so let's now see if it's worth it though because if it don't smell the same then what's the point like so I got Coco Coco here oh this is strong yeah I can smell this off the paper but Coco and Coco I'm gonna throw them both in the bag I have no idea which is which right now but I'm just gonna throw them in the bag to shake them up again and again, while we're going and shaking them up, then we can go over the scents. So, Coco Mademoiselle is an amber floral. It came out in 2001, so she's an oldie. She's 21 years old, old enough to drink now. Let's have her drink, sis. She got some mimosa in her anyway. <laughs> but her top notes are orange, mandarin orange, bergamot, Middle are Turkish Rose, Jasmine, Mimosa, and Liang Liang. And then the base notes are Patchouli, White Musk, Vanilla, Vetiver, Tonka Bean, and Oponax, or Opanox. Opopanox. Opopanox. It's going to be on the screen. 
Um, now, I wanted to know what a Papa Docs is because I had never heard about that in a fragrance. I'm assuming that it's probably a, synthet a synthetic that they add to it for more of an intense version of a different, more natural scent. And what it says is that it's intensely sweet, balsamic, warm, spicy, and fragranced. It's a, uh, excuse me, intensely sweet, balsamic, warm, spicy fragrance. So, and it may occur naturally, but I thought, I don't know. I have no idea. But that's what they're saying. I'm going to pull the first one out. I have no idea what this is. Mm. Okay, so let's talk about Coco in the first place. She is strong. Um, I don't know where everybody's getting this. Oh, she's so delicate and she makes nothing whimsical. I, I don't get that from Coco. This one is stronger than this one. Mm. But they both smell exactly the same. This one just is more intense. Yeah, they, sm they both smell exactly the same. Again, this one is more intense. Let me see. What do I prefer? Like, Coco, when I got her, after all the girls were talking about her, she wasn't my favorite. <laughs> I thought she was going to be crisp. Because I love crisp, clean scents. I love my scents to have lots of citrus and um, fresh, uh, soapy smells. Iris is one of my favorite scents. I like powdery and that kind of a thing. That's not what Sis is giving. <laughs> Sis is giving church mom. And it's not horrible, but it's not something I will wear every day. Uh, it was not something I would wear on a, a deeply special occasion because I wouldn't want to remember my special occasion with this scent. It's just not my favorite. It's not horrible by any means. It's just not my cup of tea. Go off in the comments if she's your cup of tea. <laughs> so I must say I prefer this one just because it's more intense in its scent. It's got longer, clearly more longevity. This one smells exactly the same. It's just a little less intense than this one. So I'm going to open this up and see what we got. And again, the dupe takes it. So alt version of Coco Mademoiselle, which is called Mistress. Then she's giving more bang for your buck than Coco herself. Sorry, Coco. And just so we know. Open up the real one, and that one's real. But yeah, that's what it is. We got two more, y'all. So, next up on the list is Soleil Blanc. This is one of my favorites from the house of Tom Ford. I have lots of bottles. <laughs> I have travel sizes, I have roll-ons, I have a bigger bottle than this, I have this bottle. Like, this is one of my absolute favorites. She is so amazing for summer. She smells like sunscreen and uh, coconuts and beach time and all the good things. I love her so much. If you don't like cosmetic sunscreeny smells, then you're not going to like her. So don't go talking about my bit. <laughs> Just stay away from her. Like, I got her back because she's that girl. Love her so much. As a matter of fact, I don't have anything on, and so I'm going to spray her. Okay. But um, I'm going to go ahead and put the two Solils in the back. And we're going to go over her while we go over it. And the Solil that I got is from Okcha. And it's called Bronze Summer. So yeah. Here we go. But for Solil Blanc, she is an amber floral. Came out in 2016. The top notes are pistachio. Let's, let's say that again. Pistachio. Mm. Bergamot, cardamom, and pink pepper. Uh, middle notes are tuberose, liang liang, and jasmine. And the base notes are coconut, amber, tonka bean, benzoin. And if we don't know what benzoin is, it's a warm note reminiscent of vanilla. So let's go ahead and figure out exactly what's going on here. So let me, I was about to open it without looking to see. Let me put it back in there because I didn't look at it, but just in case y'all think I'm playing. All right, y'all. I'm going to stiff my arm. 
Now y'all see I didn't spray this on. <laughs> so I'm gonna take the first one out. Mm. Everything I love about summer. This right here in a bottle. Mm. I love her. When I okay, quick side story. When I first got this, it was Christmas time. 2020 going into 2021 and this was the gift that I had gotten for myself because I was just getting my um, fragrance journey restarted um, back when I was in my early 20s I was all about fragrances as well then life happened and you know good things happen bad things happen horrible relationships <laughs> but once I got out of the smoke and everything cleared I was like you know what let me get back to the things that I love and I love fragrance Mm, mm, mm. but anyway so I bought myself a bottle and when I got it it was right for a trip that we had to go to Puerto Rico that's why I got it because everybody was talking about she's summery and all this so I was like well she gonna be perfect for Puerto Rico right mm, mm, mm. baby when I first sprayed it I was like oh oh my god what, what's happening why does it smell like that <laughs> I, I, I don't know if I like that and so I was like, dang, I wasted my money. But I had only gotten like the travel size. So it was like 40, no, $75 for the travel size. She expensive. Um, and I was like, okay, well, it's only a travel size, you know, whatever, whatever. So I go through and I'm opening some other stuff. And then just like this, this fragrance of luxury and sophisticated richness started hitting. I was like, is that the perfume? Like, what, 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 what's going on here? Like she started to develop into the most absolute beautiful luxurious rich auntie <laughs> type of fragrance ever and i've been in love with her ever since and again like i said i have multiple bottles so this is pretty and let me pull out the other one this one has started to die down so this one didn't even have as much oils in it because this one made the or maybe i just sprayed it at a further point i sprayed them both about two or three times so, I can still smell this one prominent, this not it. This one's okay, it's starting to smell like construction paper. But I can still faintly smell the Soleil Blanc. So I'm going to go with this one. And this one is the real one. So sometimes there's just no substitute for the real thing. And Soleil Blanc has proven that. So... Now, don't get it twisted. To make my Soleil go further, because this one, as y'all can see, I'm pretty much maxed out on the juice. Like I said, I got another bottle waiting. Don't worry, girls. <laughs> but as we can see, she's almost maxed out. To make this one go further, I would just layer these two together, because this smells exactly like this. Except this just has longer lasting power, because it's Tom Ford. She's that girl. I mean, it wasn't like that for the Lush Cherry, but... <laughs> I'm going to spray these to the side because when I'm done with the I'm going to spray these again. <laughs> so, last up on the list is Delina. So, oh, these are strong, baby. Don't go ahead and throw these in the bag. <laughs> they are strong. So, if you watched my last fragrance haul video, you'll notice a... Uh, um, a theme about what I like. I am not a floral girl unless it's floral something else. Like if it's an amber floral or floral gourmand or a vanilla floral. Most of the things that I like are going to have amber, citrus, vanilla in them. Those are the things that I gear towards. I'm not a big just flowers girl. So when I was reading the description of Delina, I understood why I got her and didn't like her. Because <laughs> I'll tell y'all, I got the, the dupe first because I was influenced. <laughs> I was on YouTube and everybody was like, this smells just like Delina, if not better, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, okay, let me get her. So I got her and I also bought First Kiss. So this is called First Kiss by V Layered, which is their version of Delina. And I also bought First, Clus uh, first Kiss Exclusive, which is their version of Delina Exclusive. And I was just like, oh, I'm going to get both of these. And they were on sale. I got them both for like $70. I was like, oh, I'm coming up in the world. I'm about to be that girl selling like that bit. <laughs> so I got her, sprayed her, and I was like, oh, absolutely not. Be layered. You have sucked. You have done the worst. You can't do well. And then I smelled their lost cherry, and they redeemed themselves. <laughs> I already gave my mama the, um, the first kiss exclusive because 
she loved it I didn't care for it at all but my mama liked flowery scents so but um so I was like you know what let me order at least a sample of Delina so that I can get an idea of what she actually smells like because maybe they just really messed up their dupe no ma'am I got the sample from Scent Split that's where I go to for my samples they have lots of different houses including almost every woman's perfume from uh, Parfums de Molle that you can just get a sample of. You can also buy a full bottle if you like from them. I don't think it's any discounted rate. It's still the same price as retail. But again, you can just buy a sample about a two millimeter sample, two milliliter sample. And um, I sprayed it. And when I first sprayed the real thing, see, when you spray this, it doesn't open with the lychee sweet smell. It just opens, bam, here go Delina. This is what it's gonna dry down to. That's what you get. When you first spray this, it actually smells sweeter, fruitier. And then the dry down is this. So we about to see how these work out. But just so you know, again, she's from the house, um, the house of Parfums and Molly. Came out in 2017. It is a floral, period. That's why I don't like her. <laughs> it's a floral. The top notes are lychee, rhubarb, bergamot, and nutmeg. Middle notes are Turkish rose. Peony, musk, patalia, and vanilla. And the base are cashmere, cedar, Haitian vetiver, and incense. Now, I was wondering what vetiver is, Haitian vetiver, all of this. And I looked it up on Frank Greta Cover. And um, with vetiver, it said that actually, depending on where in the world it comes from, it can take on a different scent. So the Haitian vetiver is supposed to have a clean, ethereal smell, is how it was described. So, I didn't get clean and ethereal. I got heavy and... 90 year old from this <laughs> so let's go ahead and take them out i'm gonna take the first one out and smell it Whew. if i'll say anything else she lasts baby she goes forever forever i don't know which one that is but it's still strong and then let's see about this one this one actually isn't that strong or maybe let me just <sighs> They say smell your elbow, but I don't, who can, can you smell your own elbow? I can't smell my own elbow. So I'm going to just smell the, the inside of my arm. Cause y'all put out some, some ninjas that can smell your elbow. Like listen, but, um, the article I read just said smell a good whiff of your own skin. So that's what I've been doing y'all instead of the, um, the caffeine or the coffee. And I'll put a link down below to that article. So you can read it on your own, decide if that's what you want to do. Or you can just carry coffee beans in your purse. Up to you. <laughs> I might start just carrying them in like a little medicine bottle or something like that. Just so if I am out smelling perfumes, I'll have them there. So, yeah, so this one's not as heavy as this one. But they both smell exactly the same. I would actually dare to say that this one is a little sweeter than this one. Now, I will say this. I'm keeping this bottle because I bought a perfume in my last haul uh, that I linked earlier um, that's called Sugar Lychee um, from Sephora. And it's by Fresh. It is everything that I thought this would be. It is super citrusy and sweet um, because lychee is a sweet fruit, but it's also kind of tangy and citrusy. Um, and when I mix the two together, I put one squirt of this on and then like two squirts of the sugar lychee. It's everything. That is everything because it's got the sweetness. It's got the dry down, which is a little floral. So it turns into almost a floral gourmand or like a floral citrus gourmand. And it is so amazing to layer the two. But of these two, I'm gonna go with this one. This is my favorite of the two. So let's see which one this is. This is the dupe. So be layered for the win. Listen, be layered for the win. They didn't win when it came to the Lost Cherry. Oak Chawan, but they still won over the original niche perfume. So in Lost Cherry, it was Oak Chaw, be layered, and then for longevity and everything. Because they for the Lost Cherry ones, they all smell the same to me. But for the... Um, for the longevity, Oaksha was the winner there. 
for here, this is a clear winner. This one is hands down the strongest. Like I said, when I was putting them in the bag, this is the smell I was getting. So it's lasting the longest. And it's actually a little bit sweeter than this on the dry down. This one is still more floral on the dry down. They smell like twin sisters, like fraternal twin sisters, not fraternal twins. Like fraternal twins, like the all, like the Olsen twins, because y'all know they're fraternal twins, right? <laughs> fraternal twins like that, like they look exactly like something. It's just uh. so. But even of the two, I prefer this version. So there's that. But that is it y'all so i hope that y'all enjoyed talking about these dupes i hope you learned something as to you know saving a couple of bucks <laughs> and getting yourself something that is going to get you the same scent and maybe sometimes even a longer lasting scent um like i said i didn't have any of these that were completely off from the original none of them that were even like kissing cousins in it like they pretty much all smell the same for me, it's just which one lasts the longest. And I'm about to drop a coin on some perfume. I want it to last a long time. Um, if you are gifted something or if you still want to go out and buy it because you just want to have the original, I would also recommend just buying the dupes just to make your perfume go longer. It's like wearing Bath and Body Works for, um, lotions and body sprays uh, with the same notes in it as your perfumes to help it go further and to make it more complex. But yeah, so I will see y'all next week for another Scent Saturday. Until then, 